So we received the pedal box today. We bought it from All Vans. Um, supposed to help with the leg that you get on the Sprinter van. When you take off from a stop sign, you get a leg and then it starts to accelerate. This is supposed to take care of it. So I'm gonna install it now and we'll see. Little patch. Yes, this is all it is. So what we'll do is we'll unplug off the top of the accelerator, the uh, plug-in that's currently on the van. We'll plug this in instead, and then we'll take the plug that we unplugged and plug it in here. And then uh, we'll tuck this away back in there and everything will be installed. So what we need here is we need to push in this little tab here on the wire and then this pulls right out. So you just pull that out, grab your harness that comes with the kit and this just goes right into where the other one came out. And then you go ahead and plug in this one into here and you're set. And then what you can do you have a little side panel here which has your negative uh, battery uh, disconnect. You can just shove this in here, tap that up, put in a couple zip ties which I'll do later and then you're set. That's it. That's all you need to do to install it. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll download the uh, app and uh, we'll go ahead and set up and I'll show you how it connects via Bluetooth and how you can change your settings. So in order to um, find where the app is and installation instructions, if you open up the lid of this, you can either scan this and go to the website or it gives you the website information here. On the website then there is a link for the iOS, uh, Apple, or the Android um, version of the app. So I already downloaded the app onto my phone and we will, uh, I will show you that. So the app comes with a number of different options. Individual one, which I assume is a custom, so you can customize how the van uh, reacts. You have sports mode, eco, kids, which I assume uh, limits the acceleration. Um, and then you have theft, which then puts it so the accelerator does not work. So if they got the van started, they would not be able to drive it. Ballet, I assume, we've never used it, but I assume it uh, just limits some of the factors. So once it's connected to Bluetooth, and ours is, and the van is actually on, not, not running, but on, the ignition's on, we turn it on here, and we have ours set on Sport. So once you do that, you don't need to do this each time you drive. It's just one setup, and then you can come back in and change this as you see fit. Um, if you're going to go for a while, you can put it on theft uh, mode, um, or you know, if you have a valet or whatever. So now that we're set at Sport, um, we will go out and see if this takes care of the issue that we had with that leg and acceleration, which anybody that owns this version of the Sprinter, the, I think it's the, um, the V30, um, is having the same issue, and uh, this is supposed to fix it, so we will see. So now 
were going about going about 65 miles an hour and you can just feel like you have power to you you can feel it surging you just give it a little kick and it's right there so it's it's like a, a, a regular car but better I mean you can just see it just surging so yeah it's crazy the, the huge difference that it, it is So now we'll stop here, and before we'd have a leg, like I said, I always thought it was a turbo leg, and so you'd really have to make sure you had space. Now, oops. <laughs> I think I actually swung the tires on that one. But you have total power, it's like you, it's like a little sports car. It is. Yeah. Totally feels like a sports car. It's pretty, pretty impressive. Just a little adapter on the gas pedal is allowing this to do this. So here we have a hill, so I'll show you how to accelerate. I'll go a little slower here to start, so I don't go too much over the speed limit, but we're going 40 miles an hour, and then we hit this, and we have full acceleration going up this hill, you know, and we're going 50, 52, you know, it's very powerful. And it's not kicking down, even here, as we're halfway through, I slow down to stay in the speed limit, and I still have plenty of power on that uh, accelerator. So we're on a hill here, and I'll just give it a little, uh, you, know, you know, you can just, you know, it takes off like a, like a sports car would. I mean, obviously a little slower with the, uh, 8,000 pounds, but a very similar acceleration feel. So to rate this as far as, is it worth the money? I believe it was like $300 um, from uh, Isle Vans. I believe uh, that's the amount. It's totally worth it. It's uh, It changed the dynamics of the van. It's, it's crazy. When we were in the town and I needed to merge into slow moving traffic but you had just a little movement before you'd have to you couldn't do it because you might hesitate I had no trouble just the accelerator it, it just moved with the accelerator and so that alone is very nice coming off of a, a stop sign where you have moving traffic coming by it was always not very fun to do and uh, with this it's it's no problem and it's it's really really a nice product um, of course, we did not get it free. We paid the full price. We are not sponsored by Control Box or Pedal Control or whoever it is. We uh, we just love the product, so it uh, worked out very well for us. Now, I'll show you the difference when we drop. We so now we have the. Uh, 